This is the most covered algae pond that I have seen in the month and a half of cleanups that we've been doing. Spring sale is right around the corner. Preparing for spring sale. We have our spring sale that we're getting ready for as well. There's so much stuff going on. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. Clearly the world doesn't stop rotating here at Aqualand. There's so much stuff going on. You guys wanna hear something super exciting? <laughs> well, I think it's exciting. You guys know how I travel all over the country. I'm doing it again with Jack. We've got a customer out in Perth, Australia. That's right, Australia. A 25 hour flight is taking me all the way to, I think about as far as I can possibly go on the other side of planet to go design a killer pond for a potential new customer out there. We're gonna be building this sometime Time, I don't know, end of November, maybe part of December. We'll figure it out when we get there. But I can't wait to take you guys on that whole design process. What I draw up, what we lay out. Unfortunately, while I'm gone, I can't work on my veggie garden, right? So that's got to come to a screeching halt. We'll have to tackle that when I get back in town. I've got things laid out. I've got the rainwater harvesting hole dug, ready to accept a hundred large aqua blocks and get all that thing prepped and ready for you. I want to take you through that next week or the week after, however it works out but while I'm gone we're actually getting ready for a huge event towards the third week of May our spring sale I want to check in with Kareen while I'm gone hey guys it's Kareen here with Aquascape Pawn Shop I'm the retail store manager here I've got so much going on here for spring sale it's coming up guys and it's gonna be so exciting we just got our first batch of plants in we'll go over that with you guys later I'm gonna be ordering fish for spring going over our fish ordering process we're gonna be ordering those soon I'm also gonna go over what items are selling like hotcakes this spring. We'll talk about that soon. She's gonna take you through her huge laundry list of things that she's gotta get done. Fish coming in, plants coming in. Take you through her usual day routine. Of course, we should check in with Haley and see what they're up to. I hope we're actually more than halfway through our clean out season. Hey guys, so we are at the end of April and we are about 57% of the way through of our clean outs, but we'll get more into that later as well as a bit of of what we need to do from now until our construction land start time. What else could we possibly do? Oh, I want to introduce you to Brad, our facilities manager over here. So much of this building behind me stays the way it stays because of Brad keeping things updated and new and working and so on and so on. So Brad's got a huge laundry list of things he's helping us with while I'm gone. Hey guys, it's Brad with Aquascape. As Brian kind of alluded to, I'm the facility and equipment manager here. My day to day is basically keeping the building up in one piece, keeping it updated and making sure it's safe. Big part of what I'm doing this week is helping Helping the retail store and our local market team prepare for spring sale. Later on, I'll take you guys through what we're doing to prepare for our spring sale, updating electrical in our retail area, setting up our plant tables, and getting our plant troughs ready for our plant delivery later this week. Stay tuned and we'll go over that later. Last but not least, we need to check in on that rec pond in the back, check on its water quality, see how things are going over there, check in with Jack, take you on an exciting clean out, but you guys know the routine. Stay on here, keep watching. There's a lot of fun stuff happening this week. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jack with Team Aquascape. We're out here in Naperville, Illinois. So there's two reasons why I wanna bring you guys out here today. Those two reasons are A, they're a Platinum customer. With that being said, we're gonna show you guys what that actually entails for our Platinum customers and show you guys what it means to perform a Platinum service for our customers. Second reason I wanted to take you guys out here was show you guys how covered this pond was. Now the homeowner, when they called in and said they wanted to clean out, they mentioned that the pond was covered in algae, but upon arrival, we didn't realize how covered it was. And by far, this is the most covered algae pond that I have seen in the month and a half of cleanups that we've been doing. So this pond was built uh, roughly around four years ago and I wanted to show you guys what a four-year pond looked like. I know Brian always says that pond matures usually after two years and this pond is just after the two-year threshold later on in the video. I'm gonna take you guys back to Aqualand and show you guys a little update on our rec pond in the back. Well, I have a feeling we're gonna be putting on some new products on that rec pond and I wanna show you guys what those products are gonna be. So right now we have the pond probably 50% drained. We have all our tanks filling up right now. We're currently working on both of our wells. We're gonna take you guys along as stuff comes up. We're gonna show you guys a little bit in depth on what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I just pulled the pumps out in our basin. This particular feature, we have three pumps. We pull all those pumps out that we can get our cleanup pump down in here. But I want to take a quick second and tell you guys what actually is included and involved in our Platinum customers maintenance package. So the first thing that we do with our Platinum customers is they get a spring clean out. So what that entails is just us coming out there, cleaning everything, checking the lights, the pumps, making sure everything's all good to go for the season. With it being a Platinum customer, we're going to be installing an XT system and two ion gens. And the reason why we're going with an XT and two ion gens is because of how massive this feature is. Right where I'm at is a 3,000 gallon basin and the pond is probably additional 3,000 gallons. So we have a lot of water volume here and we got to treat this the right way and we don't want to under treat this system. One of the things that we do at the Platinum visits is every two weeks we come out here and we check the pumps. So that means we pull the check valves off, make sure no debris or mulch is stuck inside the propeller impeding the flow into the waterfalls, causing no problems. Right now we're going to continue on cleaning this basin, which that's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to wait on that. In the meantime, we're going to come through and we're going to start pulling these fish out. The pond's probably with only within a foot of water. So it's going to be perfect for us pulling the fish out. We got the pond drain and I wasn't kidding. This thing was covered in algae. You guys can tell how bright green this pond is. And let me stress before I go any farther, this is a four-year-old pond and this is not typical for a four-year-old feature to look like this. Yes, you're gonna have a little bit of algae, but with us being in Chicago, we had a really warm winter with a lot of warm days. That being said, the water temperature really never got really cold. It did get cold, but it was warm enough where the algae was able to bloom. And this is what happened. We've been noticing that there has been more algae in some features. This one just got a really good batch of algae that let's just call it. We're going to power wash everything first. We're going to try to pick as much as we can off the rocks. I know it's kind of hard because it's that hair-like algae, but with the power washer, we're going to be able to blast all that down to the bottom. This four-year-old feature does have a slate bottom. Probably it's going to speed up things a little bit quicker, considering we could push everything to the bottom and then come in here with the broom and push everything to one side, scoop all that algae up, rinse everything down, get this thing nice and clean. Hey, Tyler. Yeah? How many buckets of algae we're going to pull out of here? I'd say about 20, 25. He's probably wrong. I'm guessing like two. So our board has changed. Let's take a little bit more of a look at the numbers. Our total is now just under 829,000. We had some cleanouts where the guys went to, let's say a gold package and talked them into signing up for the platinum because they thought it would fit better for them. So we've had some small changes. As of end of April, we have done 175 cleanouts. That is 1,720 man hours. So if we look at our total, we're about 57% of the way through all of our cleanouts. Now. We're not really getting a whole lot more as far as signups, but we are still growing our maintenance goal number with the upsells the guys do at cleanouts, like lights, dosing systems, fish food, water treatments, or even like a rehab. So right now we're about 55,000 in upsells and we have on the books 11 service projects, which are about 31,000 in total. We're moving really well. We've got a lot of big cleanouts coming up next week. I know one has eight guys eyes on it in total. It's huge. And then maintenance package visits are starting in May. So we're going to have one or two guys doing maintenance packages. Then we have our spring sale that we're getting ready for as well, which is all hands on deck. We think we're going to be getting done with cleanouts right at the end of May, keeping in time with our June plan for construction starting. We might even be able to get some smaller projects in at that last week of May, uh, but stay tuned. Hey guys, so this is our first shipment of our plan for the season. Doesn't look like much, but there's a lot here. So what it takes for me to order all these, I have to start for spring sale last October. So the process is I have to take a look at this long list of plants to figure out which one is going to be best for our zone and stuff that's good for your water features and your ponds. So I have to make sure I get enough product in. So I have to decide what's going to come in prior. What are we going to sell? It is a big, long process. This is our first group of plants. They're going to be for colder time, like right now it's early spring our next two shipments will be for a little bit warmer but it'll be here for spring sale which is awesome the last batch will be coming in after spring sale to replenish so don't worry you'll have plenty of time to come get your plants especially in spring sale our lilies will be here and we also have so much more coming we're off to a great start I'm gonna have the warehouse team come help me tomorrow and load this that will just make us one step closer to spring sale my fish order I'm gonna be ordering those Monday but let me take you through a process 
of what I do to order. So I go between three to four companies. They have great selections. You always want to look for the best value. Always, always do your research. So I take all four of them, I lay them out, I see which one have what that I need, and then I kind of look at the price points and take a look what we're gonna benefit off of. I do that and then I make my decision off of that. Sometimes they have sales, I utilize that. And I sometimes go through one or two of the companies, maybe even three of the companies. They come the same week, which is really cool. And then I quarantine them and then they'll be ready for sale after three days. I am so excited. We are getting craft door snails in, shabunkins and comets. I am gonna be placing my order Monday. The reason I haven't done it earlier, normally it's done at this time. We have to do some fixing in our fish area outside. So we have new electricity and it's gonna be done by Friday. So Monday, I'm gonna come in first thing in the morning and order those fish. All right, and the last thing I wanna talk about is what's going on here in the pawn shop. We are selling a ton of spring items. The main one is gonna be your filter pad. Everybody this time of year needs filter pads. Most of my customers, they come in and they know what they're looking for. But a lot of times they don't realize that they need their essential spring products and I always have a table ready for them. These sell like hotcakes this time of year. I'm telling you, you always should display what is in season and what you need. I've got my cold water food. I've got my cold water bacteria. I also got beneficial pond startup. It's perfect. This is our spring right now, but for spring sale, all of this stuff is gonna be gone. I'm gonna be doing placing an order here this week. We're gonna start staging it in the back for spring sale. It's a lot of work, but it's fun. And you guys will really be happy to see this. Once we place it, we're gonna price them, get it all ready for spring sale. And what you're gonna see is pumps all together, beneficial bacterias together, your netting together. So once you come in, you'll be able to walk around and get all your needs for the rest of the year. All right, guys, I'm super excited. Spring sale is right around the corner. I'm looking forward to seeing all of my past customers and new customers. If you're in the area, come by, say hi. It's going to be a great event. So stay tuned for more. All right guys, so like I said earlier, we're updating our electrical. I'm out here in our outdoor retail fish area. What you see here is a bunch of trenches. We're redoing all of our electrical, trenching it down much further to prevent any exposed piping, exposed wires, and, and just basically keep it up to code and keep it safe. The difference is this is actually much lower than it was. It was actually run right on top of the ground, which in this area allowed the rainfall to erode the ground away, which exposed the conduit, allowed people to step on it, breaking it, exposing wires. And obviously that's not what we want. We want you to come here, pick out fish and be safe. So this area is gonna look completely different. In two weeks, when you guys are all here at our spring sale, this will be set up, look beautiful with the red flint rock on the top. We will have our fish retail system set up in this area here. What we're gonna have over here is all of our fountainscapes on basins, exposed, so you can see exactly how everything works, how easy it is to put in the ground. So we will have various basins here with all of our toppers on there, our urns, our walls, those brand new faux basalts. Everything else that we have that goes on a basin will be on display out here for you to see. Super excited about this space with the fountainscapes here and the fish tanks over here. It's gonna be a completely different space than what it's been in the past. All right guys, so the next part of my week is I'm preparing the plant troughs here for a plant delivery at the end of the week. We do a full clean out in these. We're gonna power wash everything out. We're then gonna pump the, that water out. Then gonna scoop the organic material out just like we would on a pond or pondless. Then we fill this back up with water from our signature pond here, allowing the water time to get warm so that way the plants have the best chance of success. As soon as the clean out's done on these plant troughs, just like it, we've done in, you know, every year for the last 10, 15 years, we're gonna put water hyacinth and water lettuce in these areas. The last thing I need to do to prepare for spring sale is get the plant tables set up. So what we do is we use these plant tables because they allow us to keep our water plants in water, not fully submerged, but enough water to keep them healthy until they're transplanted into your pond. These water tables, we've used them for years, did have to do some repairs on some of the other tables. Basically, they work very simply. There's a ball valve that you just open and as you can see, it drains the water right out for us, allowing for a quick water change and allowing us to keep fresh water and fertilized water in these for your plants. So that's it guys. These three things, the electrical, plant troughs, the plant tables are the three things that we needed to get done to allow us to start preparing for a spring sale. These are the foundation of that entire sale. By the end of this week, we should be very close to getting everything set up, which allows us to get even closer to spring sale when we get to see you guys, you know, show you our beautiful fish, our plants and our products. We look forward to seeing you.
So guys, we finished power washing. Everything is spotless. Now we're rinsing. We're halfway done with rinsing and now is a great time to check for lights. So we turned the transformer on before we even started power washing and that is because as we're going, we're hitting every nook and cranny of the pond. We can check to see if there's any lights that are out. Right now, Tyler is going through, swapping out two three watt lights from shining up on the waterfall and then one shining into the pond. So we're going to get those replaced for the customer. We already talked to Haley, made sure that they were under warranty. So we got that squared away and everything. So now we're just going to finish rinsing, filled up, and then we're going to be ready to go to turn this thing on. All right, guys. So today we're going to be installing our XT system with our ion gens. Here it is, a two ion gens hooked up. Last season, we didn't have the XT and we just had two normal, regular auto dose systems out here. And we're going to be upgrading it to the bigger one. And just because of the sheer volume of this pond, almost, I think uh, probably six or 7,000 gallons of water that we're putting in this pond. We just want to have a beefier auto doser. So let's open it up. Well guys, it is partially running. Feature is filling up right now. The homeowner is gonna continue to fill it to turn on the rest of the feature. With that being said, we are not quite done yet. Come back with me to Aqualand and let's show you the rec pond. So we're back at Aqualand, we're back at our rec pond. Water clarity is crystal clear like normal, but the algae is not exactly where we want it. So with that being said, that means we're still gonna be using those two items that I mentioned earlier. So why don't you come with me and I'll show you what we're working with. So the two items that we're gonna be using are our two ion gens. Normally we use our platinum packages. We use one of these, but for our bigger features, we have to use two considering this pond is 20,000 gallons. So let's unbox these and let's get these installed. Right here is the ion gen probe that sit down in the water. What the, these do is that when the ion gen's cranked up to whatever number that you're gonna need for your pond, they release ions in between these two probes. And with the water current, it pulls that water through and pulling that copper into the water. So let me show you where we're gonna put that. So what we're gonna do is, you wanna make sure that if you're using these in a vault where the water fluctuates, you just wanna make sure that this is well below water line so that way the ion gen works properly. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna wrap it around this pipe here. Nice and simple. And I don't have to go that very deep because considering that this pond always stays at a consistent height. So I just have it there. So it's just dangling in the water here. The one thing that I do want to mention is that we do this for our platinum customers as well. And our diamond customers is you have to come in here weekly, if not bi-weekly and come in here and scrape these uh, probes because you want to make sure that these are all nice and clean. So that way the ion gen works efficiently. So all there is left to do is plug the other end of the ion gen into the transformer here. And then all I got to do is plug this end into the outlet. So you guys might be wondering how you guys actually set these. There are instructions for how to set these for your specific pond because this goes off the gallons in the pond and not just a baseline. So you have to look at the instructions that comes with the ion gen. But it's super simple. All you gotta do is hold down either the plus or the minus sign until it flashes. And now I could go either up or down. The thing I want to stress about this system that we use, I know Dave and Brian have said before, our ecosystem ponds, they're not going to clear up like that. It's going to take some time. With this system, it's going to take some time for the ion gen to kind of get in the water and get the copper moving through the algae and let that algae die off. Once you start noticing that the algae is dying off, crank this ion gen down to either zero or turn it off completely. It could possibly lead to problems down the road in the water feature and the fish health. Copper has something to attack in the pond, but if there's nothing in there please 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 turn it off or turn it down to zero as you can tell it is very easy to install these ion gen systems i'm gonna go grab the other one install that but before i do that i'm gonna let you guys go stay tuned for more updates on the rec pond and the algae situation out here you guys know the routine stay tuned on team aquascape right now i'm saying bye it was nice seeing you guys i'll see you later bye.